Hello everyone, good morning. My name's Matthew from the LG for All Gaming Network, and uh, I hope you're all doing really well. Um, today I'm going to be playing Kerbal Space Program Contracts Mode, continuing on from episode 3 that I did previously. But I also want to tell you about uh, a little bit more about the contract system. So, just to let you know, these contracts are they're basically requests from manufacturers to test their hardware, and they're they're new in this version. <clears throat> they weren't available before, so it's quite a big change to the game. The early contracts you get, um, which we've probably covered through in one through three episodes, uh, they're predefined, and later on they become randomly generated. You get more randomly generated ones later on. Um, if you complete a mission, as you can see here, you um, you gain science and reputation, but you also get punished if you uh, fail to complete them, such as financial penalties. Now there's five types of contracts. There's part testing, where you need to build your um, craft with certain part and uh, test it under certain conditions. For the most part, these tests need to be activated uh, when certain conditions are met. However, there are times when you're going to need to right click the part and run the test that way. Um, number two, the second type of contract is rescue contracts, which basically you need to rescue a Kerbin or if he's stranded in orbit. Or something like that. Number three is uh, data collection. It requires you to get data from certain parts of the solar system, such as the surface of Duna. Number four are exploration contracts. And they require you to go to again a specific location and transmit data, you know, back from there. Um, now it looks like our ship has been made unable to work because of the update never mind uh, also the fifth type of contractor the flag planting ones where you want to plant a flag uh, for a company on a certain planet or moon all right so <clears throat> what I also want to do in this session is uh, try to complete another couple of uh, contracts gain some more science and further our space program so this contract says test the TR-18A stack decoupler landed at Kerbin TR-18A, so let's go ahead and find out what that is. That's the TR-18A. So all we gotta do is land it safely. Yeah, it shouldn't be too big of a problem. Alright, but what I'm noticing here is we're gonna need to add a couple of uh, a couple of parachutes to this just to make it land safely. Otherwise we could end up with a big problem. Okay. So there's our parachutes. We got those. We're gonna need to move that down there. It's actually going to decouple. So to perform the test, activate the part through the staging sequence when all test conditions are met. Kerbin <coughs> landed. Okay, so I'm assuming we actually have to land. Land it. Okay, well I'm not exactly sure what that means, but I'm just going to add another one in there for purposes of this so we can actually complete it. It's a bit weird, but hey, who am I to judge? So there we go. That should be it. That should be a nice enough rocket, I think. As you can see, we've only got a delta V of uh, 1,826, but it should be enough to complete this mission. So let's go ahead and launch our contract. We need all the money and research points we can get so we can further our space program and eventually get into orbit, do docking, get to further planets like Duna and moons like Lathe and all this good stuff. So. Let's go ahead and start up this mission. Rawr, away we go. All right, now, yeah, so basically it just says we, we've met the first condition, so we're on Kerbin and we're testing the decoupler. Then we need to land it, and that's pretty much it. All right, so I'm just going to cut my throttle right there. Separate. So as long as we land this bad boy. Uh oh. Uh oh. We've hit the thing. We've hit the rocket up below us. Alright, we're good. We're good. <laughs> Alright. So, we're going to need to activate our parachute. Let's deploy that chute now. I'm just doing this manually because it looks like the stagings are a bit messed up. But that's not really a, an issue. Just putting as many parachutes on here as I can. So, it actually lands safely. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got a bit of a cough and a cold this morning. 
All right, there we go. That's plenty of parachutes. That should enable us to land safely. I just heard an explosion down there. That's probably our fuel <laughs> landing back on the uh, the uh, launch pad. Whoopsie. All right, this is bringing us down nice and slowly. Once we've landed, hopefully it will say we've completed it. Uh, where, are, where are we going to land? Oh, back on the landing pad. Cool, cool, cool. Come on, land it. Don't blow up. Landed! Yay! And then I press space to decouple it. That's really weird. But that passed the test. Yay! Awesome. Okay. So, now what I'm going to do is go back to the space center. And uh, see what else needs to be done. First of all, let's recover our ship. Always a good idea because you get the, the money refunded and parts and so on and so forth. Not getting any science part points, but we've got 3,347 funds added from recovered parts, which is good. And Jebediah. Always Jebediah. Recovering him is a, is a pleasure. I don't like having to kill him. How are you getting on with the contract mode, guys? Are you managing to deal with it, you know, easily enough? Or is it a struggle for you? Or what's the situation? So test LV-909 liquid fuel engine landed at Kerbin. So what do they want us to do? Perform the test, activate the part, blah, blah, blah. Looks easy enough. Test Rockamax Mark 55 radial mount liquid engine landed at Kerbin. Okay. Test small gear bay in flight over Kerbin. Alright, we'll accept that too. What's our reward? 1,000. We get an advance. I like the fact that you do get an advance, but if we fail this, we actually don't get any of the completion money. Yep. <clears throat> oh well. Tis the life of a of a Kerbinaut. Let's see what we got here then. Okay. So test LV909 liquid fuel engine. Okay, let's remove that. And add the LV909 liquid fuel engine, which is that small part. Let's see if we can kill two birds with one stone here. Uh test Rockamax Mark 55 radial mount engine. So which one is that? Ah, this little bad boy. Okay. I never had those. I never, I've never. i literally never used those before. So let's go ahead and stick three of them on if we can fit them. <clears throat> Wait. I'm not sure what that means where it says landed. Maybe we need to be able to... Maybe we need to be able to... Uh, have them on our ship when we land, but let's go ahead and find out. I'm not exactly sure what that means. So the first stage we want to be our little LV-909 liquid fuel engine. Actually, we want to test all these little engines. So let's move all those down to that section. Then we'll decouple it. Ah, then that engine goes there. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and launch this rocket. See what happens this time. I'm going to keep all the parachutes on because landing obviously gives you benefits such as recovering the uh, money and stuff like we discussed previously. Uh, this is slightly different. It's a bit different for, for me. I was really good at the career mode before and I'm, I'm okay now, but I'm just figuring it all out along with you guys. There we go. We've passed two of the mi missions already. Test small gear bay. Ah, the small gear bay we're not going to be able to do in this one. Alright, so we've got all these little bad boys burning. We've passed two tests already. Nice. They're actually pretty neat, these little engines. Never used them. Who knew? But now we've run out of fuel. Uh-oh. Decouple. Do -do 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 -do. Fly into the water. You'll be safer. Do -do 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 -do. All right, so I'm going to cut that. We don't need to be uh, traveling for any longer than necessary. Where's Jeb? There he is, Jeb. How you doing, bro? I'm all right. I'm a little bit scared. You're always scared, Jeb. But you're always looking really excited, too. So that's pretty cool. We've actually passed two, mi two contracts with one little mission here. Nice. All right, let's speed up time. Don't want this to be taking too long. Oh, look at the sun in the background there. That's the money shot. Uh-oh, plummeting way fast. Open parachutes. Yeah, it might be overkill, but if it means we get all our science and lots of recovery data, then it's all good. Two more contracts completed. 
three in total for this episode. Lovely jubbly. Keep this going fast. Look at that. There's there's the sun in the background in the spaceport over there. Beautiful, beautiful. Coming down to land. And we have touchdown. Woo! Jeb, you want to get out? Sure, why not? Oh, God, I can't get out. Uh-oh, the doors are blocked by parachutes. Oh, no. <laughs> We're going to have to deconstruct that when we get back to base. All right, let's go back and see if we can recover Jeb still. Parachutes are blocking him in, ladies and gentlemen. Uh-oh. Okay. Let's go here. As usual, click on this. Recover. No science earned. Lots of funds recovered. Reputation increased. GG. Lots of monies. All right. Now, what was that other um, contract they asked us to do? Can't quite remember. Let's go and have a look. Ah, test the small gear bay. Now, what is the small gear bay? Is that... It's not those. Oh, th it's that thing. Okay. Test small gear bay in flight over Kerbin, flying at an altitude of 20,000... 20,100 meters at that speed. Okay, seems weird, but sure. So propulsion, we are going to need more fuel. So I'm going to take all of this off there. Need to actually be able to get to this height, so it's going to be quite a big rocket, I think. Let's stick the LVT-45 engine there. Uh, what's going on here? So let's move that down there. All right, 3,804 delta V. That should be enough to get us to the height we want, you know. But the problem we're going to have is Jeb can't get out. So let's move that. Move these engines so they're not blocking his exit. And that should be our rocket. Should we get a couple of these little separatrons on there? Why not? Let's get like six of them. So they can go right down there. Don't know why, just want to. And away we go, ready for our fourth contract of the session. Our space program is advancing nicely, ladies and gentlemen. Who knows, maybe we'll become masters of the universe. At this rate, you never know. Uh, okay, here we go. Ready to launch, Captain. Let's move down, Kerbal Flight Engineer. Just, just shift that down a little bit. Oh, all those little burners have burned off already. <laughs> da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. Don't forget, we need to get to 20,100 meters at least with a speed of 300 meters per second. If we can do that, we can uh, pass this contract and that'll be our fourth completed contract on the session. Very nice. Jebediah, you are looking too happy, my friend. What is going on? Hey, hombre. I wonder if we'll be able to get to the desired speed necessary. Let's see. If this rocket's not suitable, then obviously we'll have to redesign it. But, um... Uh, looking at it, might not be such a problem. Our apoapsis height at, at this stage can reach about 12,000 meters, as you can see. Again, this very useful piece of... Uh, very useful mod, this flight engineer. Find it if you can. Alright, so we might need to reduce our speed just a little bit. We're meeting our speed uh, variable, but the altitude, we're not quite there yet. Okay, got a big window, though, in order to meet this objective, so. Here we go, we're nearly there. Ah, you know what, ladies and gents, we haven't even got a flipping small gear bay on. Derp! Revert the vehicle assembly! We're just going to need to attach one, how stupid am I? Ugh, I guess because it's early, I'm being a noob. Alright, let's stick one of these on. Why? I have no clue, but there it is. It's what they asked for, so let's go ahead and do it. Pardon my faux pas, ladies and gentlemen, but it's all part of the recording process. Hopefully, you will forgive me. Alright, video's running a little over time now, but hopefully you're still enjoying it. Alright, away we go, Separatrons, we need you! Away we go. Can we speed up the physics engine without it affecting too much? A little bit. Nice, okay. We're there. Alright, let's press G, bring in our wheel. Highlight our contract again. Look at this, we're actually getting out at you really fast. If you want to play in fast forward, you can. You know, it's entirely up to you. Away we go. We are in flight. Now I just gotta activate my uh, gear 
very soon once we all the ticks are here okay open the wheel well I've opened it but what's going on run test okay there we go so this is one of those ones where you need to right click it and run test and we've done it so yay but we're actually going way off into space ah. look at that I love that man what other game gives you such amazing physics and makes you feel like you're in control of a, a space uh, program? It's just a freaking phenomenal job the developers have done with this game. I love it. I've been playing it since version 0.18. I envy the guys who've been playing it since version. Uh, since version. Wow, well, let's do a crew report here. No, nothing. I envy the guys who've been playing it since the very beginning because, wow, they must have a wealth of experience. But hopefully you don't think I'm doing too bad of a job. We're plummeting fast here. All right, speed it up a little bit. Just a little bit. Are we coming to land back on there? Nearly. We're back in the spaceport. Yay! Nearly time to open our parachutes. Do it at 1,000 meters, I think. Pwah! Open. Yay! So this will be our fourth successful uh, contract. Whoop whoop! Space program is on track. That's awesome. Thanks for joining me, guys. The uh, video will be over shortly. and Please leave your comments, likes, and talk to me in the chat box. Let's get a community going, guys. Be much appreciated. There we go. Landing safely, I think. Yay! What do you think, Jeb? EVA, EVA. I'm EVA'd. But no science data for you, boy. Let's get him to go down. Ah, plonk. Surface sample? Nine science, nice. The substance is what makes a scientist yell at us when we go into the labs about cleaning our boots first. Dirt. <laughs> awesome. Well done, Jeb. What? What? <laughs> Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'll bring you episode five shortly. Don't forget, I'm moving to a bi-weekly uh, video release schedule. Uh, Saturdays and Wednesdays will be the day I release my videos. Thank you again. Take care. See you soon.